Hello everyone, welcome to Lighthouse Stamping with Lorraine. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in Vancouver, Washington. Thank you for joining me. Before we get started, all the housekeeping notes, all the product I used and all the dimensions will be listed below. There's a link to my online store if you wish to purchase any of these products. There is a link to our Facebook group. We'd love to have you join it. There's my email address if you have any questions or would like to find out more about um, in-person classes. And finally, remember to like, share, and subscribe on YouTube and help me grow in YouTube world. So today we're gonna to be using Magical Meadow, Stars at Night, and Brightest Glow. We're using parts of all of these. And these two are going away. But I want to show you something that I discovered when I was looking at what was leaving. I'll bring the catalog in here real quick. The stamp and dies are being discontinued. That's something all over my fingers. Um, and the Magical Snowflake is leaving. The Faceted Gems are staying, the Silver and White Ribbon is staying, and this DSP is staying, which I have, I've been using Stamping Up products since they started. I haven't been demonstrated long, but I've been using them that long. I've never seen them carry over DSP that I can remember. So this DSP is carrying over, which I love because it is such a beautiful paper pack. So just thought I'd point it out. So these two are leaving, but these three are staying. So it's a little unusual, but nice. <laughs> so what we're gonna be using out of these sets, I'm gonna tell you, we're using the Merry Christmas out of this set. This, we're not using any of the stamps, but we are using four of the dies. And I'll show you those dies in a minute. And out of this set, we are using this sentiment here. Hope, I think that's the one we picked out. Hope your Christmas shines bright with love, a family, and friends. So, let me show you what we're making. This is my day 25 of my 25 Days of Christmas series. And not that I won't do Christmas cards between now and Christmas and Christmas projects, but I probably will. This is our envelope. Oh, I forgot to get a stamp out. We are using one of the stamps. I forgot to get it out, though. This is what we're making. It's a lovely little diagonal, and it opens like this. I think it's a fun card. I'm going to show you how to cut it and make all the pieces to it. So let me get that stamp out while I'm thinking about it. And then we are going to make all these embellishments first for our card. So that's this one here that I forgot to grab. There we go. Wouldn't be you know, right if I didn't forget something. I think this block will work. There we go. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to do our embossing. And so I've just got a piece of um, Misty Moonlight and I'm going to use our decorative circle punch and punch that out. Set this over the side. We're not done with that piece of paper yet. I'm gonna grab a piece of scrap paper. I grab my stamping mat because we are using a photopolymer stamp. I've got silver embossing. I thought about doing this with white, and then I decided to stick with silver. Um, but it probably looked very nice with white. I've got my embossing buddy, my burst mark, and my gun is at hand. So, and yes, you can see the powder, but it wiped right off, and I'll show you it when we're done. But it's very important, especially here. We have all so much static. I can't even pat, pat the kittens without their hair just comes straight up. <laughs> Use first the mark and the Merry Christmas. And I'm going to go move this so I can see it clear. Right about there, a little towards the top. Like that. We'll cover that up. And get my embossing powder out here. And yes, I have this tub, but I always put paper down because for some reason I always end up with embossing powder. That looks really good. Make sure everybody's covered nicely. And get my gun going. So it's going to be a little noisy, not too bad. Let's start that up here. Okay. 
Make sure I've done it all. Yep, it's all done. I got a little glow gold right here on the side, but I'm not going to worry about it because it'll look just fine. Then what I'm going to do, hang on, I'm going to get rid of my mossy powder out of my way. And this piece of paper. And I just have, I have micro cloth, fiber cloths in here just for the occasion and make sure it's not hot. If it's still hot, don't do this. My mind's cooled off. Just brush off any of that extra. So that is our Merry Christmas. Now we need a little cranky because we are going to do, we're only doing one die cut. I'm gonna show you what I used and then we'll go from there. So I die cut part of them already. Now this is the silver and white oh, that's hooked on here. Hang on. Him and Lost Lagoon wanna be friends. This is a piece of the silver and white, um, what is it called? I forget the name of it. Snow, Snowflake Magic, <laughs> sorry. I know it's out of stock now, and but I had already decided to use it. You could use silver, just all silver paper or use vellum, whatever you want. And that was cut with this die here. These are all standalone dies in that set. The next one, is this one here like that and I cut that out of pretty peacock and then this one I cut out a lost lagoon and this one here we're going to cut out of misty moonlight this is the one I didn't do I figured you didn't need to watch me cut them all and this one we have to do a little something extra to it so figured I'd show you on this one. And that's the extent of our die cutting. And he is still trapped in the paper here. He shouldn't be. He usually falls out. So if he doesn't, be gentle with him. They are small branches. I don't want to, I'm just gently poking at it. I don't have my little scrubby tool out here. I'd use it, but I don't have it with me right now. So just be gentle. Try not to bend anything. And he will all pop out just the way he's supposed to. There we go. Pops out real easy. Now, I'm gonna get a piece of white paper so you can see this better. That's Misty Moonlight. But those berries on there need to be a different color. And I've showed this technique before. This is my blueberry bushel ink. And I'm just going in here and quickly adding a little color on those berries so they stand out a little bit. And I see a little chad there I want to get out. That's all the berries. Like There's not many, but it's just a nice little added touch. I don't know if you can see the little piece that I see right here. There, now he's gone. So there's that piece. So those are the main components for making our little bouquet. Next, we need to do some cutting. So we need our scoreboard and we need our paper, which I have setting up here. You need a full sheet of paper that is eight and a half by 11. And we're gonna do some measuring and this card requires a little bit of measuring, but not much. So on your eight and a half inch side at the top, from this side, you're gonna mark at three inches per little tick mark. I know if you can see it, but I can. Then you're gonna rotate it 180 degrees. So this is where the tick mark is over here. We're gonna measure the same sign, only at the other end, at three inches, like that. And then we're gonna cut this. So this will give you two card bases to make two cards. And what you're going to do is you're going to take those two tick marks and you are going to line them up in your 
groove here. Make sure I've got both of them lined up. There we go. And then you're going to cut. So now you have two card bases. So you can make a second card. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we are going to turn this over. So we have our flat 11 inch side up here and we are going to score at three. and six and three quarters. So then we're gonna just bend this this way. Just close this, we don't need that part now. We're not done with that though. I do need my bone folder. Oh, just a second here. There it is. You know it couldn't have gone far. And then this one's going to get folded back. And yes, this fits into the envelope. Just like that. Because this should be about five and a half. Because you've cut three inches here and three inches from this end. Gives you the five and a half. So that's the base of our card. Next, we need all the panels for this card. So, I'm going to go through these one at a time. We'll, we'll measure and do each of them at one at a time, okay? So, the first one for the back panel here, this is four by five and one eighth. And we're going to be looking the right side here, or left, sorry, left, left side. I got to make sure I write my instructions right. Just a second here. I wrote my instructions on the wrong thing. That's bad. Okay, so on the left side, at the top here, you're gonna come down and make a tick mark at seven eighths of an inch. Right there. So that's for the back panel, seven eighths. For the white piece, that is gonna be in the middle panel. That is three and a half by four and a quarter. I wrote my mess, my my stuff all backwards. This one's the left side. I'm gonna make sure I write the right thing on the instructions for you. We're gonna come down on the right side here, seven and eighths from the top. Make another tick mark. The next piece is the same as the white, three and a half by four and a quarter. Now this is. This paper, same paper, just the back side, the icy side. And then you can decide what you want at your top and bottom. I think I like this part with the snowflakes, the, the little ice crystals being the top, because you're going to see that here. This one, hang on here. I'm just checking my, my notes here. <laughs> That's the only one I did do right. <laughs> You're going to be the opposite. You're going to, on the right side, you're going to cut at, make a tick mark at seven eighths. Because you're going to be coming down this direction, this way. That's the only one that's on the right side. Everything else is on the left. The last piece is two and three fourths by three and three eighths. And on the right side, this one is a little different. This is five and an eighth. So, one, two, three, four, five. Make sure I got the right one. Little tick mark. So, this one's on the left. All the rest are... This one is on the right. All the rest are on the left. <laughs> and I will put that on there, what side the tick mark goes on, on the, in the instructions. So, we need to trim each of these pieces. So, find my tick mark corner here in the track and my tick mark in there and trim. There's one piece. We're doing all the right side first or left side first, sorry. And this one here. So 
there's those three. Now this one would be cutting this direction. Just like that. And once you got all your pieces cut, you're gonna see how fast this goes together. But we have some stamping to do first. But you can see this goes here, the white's gonna go here, this is gonna go here, and this is gonna go on the other side. But we do have some stamping to do. So we'll set all those aside. And this is, we need our envelope and the inside of our card. And we're going to use Misty Moonlight. And here's the stamp I almost forgot. And we're gonna put that right there. And this is going Oh, I didn't put that on very straight. Hang on. I do like to line my my words up so they're halfway straight using the grid. And this one, we're gonna stamp up at the top like that. Now, the other one, I didn't write put anything at the bottom here. If you're gonna write a lot of stuff, you might, might not wanna put anything else, but I just decided I'm gonna go ahead and put this down here in the corner in the bottom because it just sounded like a good idea to me. And I like it. I always change things as I go, change my mind. That's all of our stamping. So now it's time to assemble this card. And you can use whatever adhesive you like. This all paper came out of one sheet of DSP. I did sort of pick and choose the pieces. So, like this piece here, it's got the pieces where they're loose this way. This was the piece that was underneath here. I'm not, it's not exactly, but it was down further where it was solid, more solid, and then I flipped it. Might as well, I've got it in my hand, might as well flip this over and put it on. So I sort of picked and choose where I wanted my pieces to go and be cut from. And I should have, before I did this, take my little eraser and did that. Don't see that one. Let me see if I see this one. Nope, I do on the white. Erase your erase your little tick marks before you start. It's easier. I didn't do it because I didn't see it on the first panel. Sometimes you cut them off and sometimes you don't. You see how these line up going down diagonally. And then this one here. It goes here. Just like that. So everything's all lined up top and bottom. Okay, now it's time to build the outside of our card. So we'll bring in the, all the pieces we made earlier. backing here and a bunch of seal and make sure mine going the right direction so Merry Christmas is facing that way and I'm gonna put a whole mess of seal back here there we go and I sort of want to do this similar to what I did before now keep in mind, you need to make sure that you stay inside the framework of your card, but you extend quite a ways up there. So I'm gonna go this way. This is gonna go here. That's, I need to come down a little further. Like that. And if a little bit, like I've got a little sticky out here, that's fine. And then we're gonna go ahead and put this one here. It's very sticky. And then we're gonna put this one here. I'm just making, going around here, making a little bouquet going around. These are all gonna be a left floppy. I want him to be shorter. I'm ripping him, actually. I'm gonna tear him off. I don't like him that long. I want him shorter. There we go. If you don't like something the height, just do it. Now don't let this set down. 
I still need to come in a little further with him or up. We'll go up and in a little bit because you need to make sure that you don't go past. That looks good. I think I can keep everybody in that way. So cut off a little piece if you need to. It doesn't hurt anything. Now we're going to put some dimensionals on here. And I'm going to put them a couple over the tops of those stems, especially the one I moved around several times. And then down here. That should be it. No, nope, one more in the middle. Don't want it sinking. Christmas as straight as possible. And come up as close to the top as I can without going over. That looks good. Right like that. Every two, everyone's going to be different. So then we need a bow. I thought we needed a bow. And this is the silver and white ribbon. I'm just going to grab some off and just make me some bunny ears. Pull him to get the right size I want. Don't want too big. That's pretty good. fiddle with my bows and we're going to put him right down here like that with a couple blue dots I'm going to use two on him one should do it but I'm being safe I'm also trying to use up this roller glue dots <laughs> This is the same one I've been using that is so sticky. They're all sticky, but I mean stickier than normal. Okay, not too close. I want to make sure I can still see my Merry Christmas. Right like that. And then for some bling, we're going to bring in those Trio Gems, which I really like. And I used dark ones on the other one, but I think I'm going to use... Use the darker ones on that one. But I think I'm going to use a light color on this one. I'll put one up there. Um, I'm going to put one on here. Where did I put the third one at? Oh. I'm trying to think where I put the third one. I put it down here. And that is our card for today. Sorry, I got my lefts and rights mixed up. Anybody who knows me knows that's a common problem. <laughs> Don't know my left from my right. No. I just wrote down the directions, the one that was, I just wrote them opposite on all of them, and I will make sure they are correct in the directions. So it's a very simple card. I have seen other people do this where they actually take the paper and put it up at the top and cut it. I personally prefer measurements, so I know it's exactly the way I want it. But it's whatever you choose to do. Um, this is an old style card. Um, I haven't done one in a long time, and I decided it was about time to dig out something out of my old stash. See, they go everywhere. So, everybody, I thank you for joining me today, and I will see you on Wednesday. And I don't know what I'm doing Wednesday. I haven't even figured out the project yet, but I'm sure it'll be nice. And if anybody has something they want seen on this channel, please let me know. Um, I'm actually expecting a shipment from Stamping Up today, so depending on what's in that box, may determine what I'm making on Wednesday. So everybody have a wonderful day and I will see you then. Thank you.